So today I'm going to demonstrate how to make HTTP requests in your Roblox games to external data sources. So I'm going to go to another data source, get this cat fact of the day. I'm going to display it in my game for players when they're entering. So in order to do that, let's go ahead and publish our game, right? We'll publish it and I'll say cat fact. And I hit create. Then, and this should be set by default. Let's go to security and make sure allow HTTP requests is engaged here. It's in the green position. So uh, it is, we're fine. In fact, you don't even really have to do that. It's not as bad as the Roblox data, the data source. But um, I just want to show you just in case you run into that problem. So now we have that all saved off. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we want to find for external data sources. And I found this website, it's pretty cool, epiphany.io, uh, free APIs. So APIs are application programming interfaces where you can get data from other programs that allow sharing of data. And we're going to use this one, this Catfax. I saw this one for coin prices, for Bitcoin prices. I thought that would be pretty cool. Uh, you can give it a try if you want, but I decided to go with the Catfax. So let's copy that URL. That's what we're going to use. We're going to get cat facts. All right, let's shrink that down. And let's put a label in here. So where do we do that? We'll go to starter GUI, screen GUI, text label. And I'm going to move this. I'm going to center that a little bit better. I'm going to call that text label um, cat fact label. Cat fact label. And let's center it. I'm going to go to anchor point and I'm going to make it 0.5 and zero on the label. And that changes my anchor point right here, that center one on the top. That way I can position it better. All right. So here's my position. Let me go ahead and position this at on the X. I'll do 0.5 and zero pixel offset on the X there. That's centered to X. And then for the Y, I'm going to do point Oops, point zero, 0.01 and 0 on the Y. That'll move it up towards the top. And size, we need to make that bigger because the cat fact might be a little bit more wordy than we need. So I'll make this point 0.3 and 0 on the X. So 30% of the screen. Point 0.1 and 0 on the Y. It's 10% on the Y of the screen. Cool. Let's make our font cartoon because cat facts are kind of cartoonish in my opinion and we'll do set our text scaled because we don't know the cat fact might be huge it might be small so we want this to scale automatically cool all right now let's put a label or a, what do you call it a local script on our cat fact label right local script because this is going to be dealing with the client the person who entered it's not going to run on the server Let's call this local script uh, display message. Ooh, do I have my caps lock on? I do caps lock display message. Cool. All right. But here's the downside. We can't display the message on the client side for, or we can't, uh, we can't do an HTTP request on the client side. We have to go to the server. So let's go to server script service and put a script in here. Let's call that get message. It's going to be getting the message of the day. And then we need to send that message to our label. So we need to go to replicated storage and do a remote event because this is the doorway between client and server. We do something on the client or in the server and we want it in the client side. We have to use a remote event or or a remote function, one or the other. Let's do MSGRE for message RE. So that's our doorway between the client and the server. We can't forget about that. In fact, I want to make sure and do that now. Do a local replicated storage. Get a reference to replicated storage. Game, get service, replicated storage. And then let's get a message RE reference. Replicated storage, wait for child. MSGRE. So this needs to be spelled the same as that right there, or you'll get an infinite yield error. All right. Another thing we need is our HTTP service. H 
TTP, I'll just do SRV, shorten that variable, and we'll do game get service, HTTP service, right there, boom. All right, let's make a function, local function, get cat fact. Player is going to get passed in because we're going to get the game player service dot player added event. Connect that to get cat fact. There it is. And then when the player added fires this, the player that got added will be added magically uh, through the power of Roblox right there. So you don't have to even worry about getting the player. Um, it's going to be it's going to be given to you. So let's get a a variable for our URL and that is I believe I still have it saved off control V HTTPS colon slash slash cat fact dot ninja slash fact All right so that's our URL and we're gonna send a get request we're gonna get a response back so let's do our HTTP service colon get async so it's gonna be an asynchronous get call pass in the URL and then we're gonna get data because this data right here is encoded in JSON format so we need to go whoops HTTP service colon was a decode JSON or something like that JSON decode I think there it is JSON decode uh, response all right now let's print that out see what we got see if we have any errors right there's always errors data cool let's play this error we got data right here we, we got to get it here yeah we haven't done that but we got data i'm gonna make this a little bigger so you can see it i'm gonna open that little arrow up and here we go we have a cat fact. It's pretty big too. Some cats have survived falls of over 65 feet, blah, 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 blah. So we want to get this message and put it in here. We might need to make this bigger if these cat facts are going to be so big. There's also, you'll notice there's a key right here. So this data holds more than one piece of data. It holds a fact and it holds the length of the fact, right? So we got to pay attention to that because we've got to parse that out. All right, let's go over to our uh, get message and parse that out. We need just the fact. We don't need the length. So I'm going to say local str. I guess we could use the length to help scale the the uh, the label, but that's all right. All right, we have data, and since this fact right here has no spaces in it, we can do this dot fact, and we're going to be able to get that this right in here but it's going to come back as a data as a as a data object we want it to be a string so i'm going to do a two string right here right and javascript that would be a stringify but we do two string in roblox and then we're going to use our remote event what do we call it msgre and we're going to fire to the client which is the, we gotta we gotta list the client that we want to fire to, which is our player, and then the string, and then we're gonna get that on the we're gonna get that on this in this script right here, this display message on our client. So let's open that up. Oh, you know what? Let's go back and get our go to our get message here, and let's do this. Let's copy this because this is our doorway. We need that on both sides. Cool display message and then paste it all right so we can get to the remote event or the replica or what do you call that remote event the message remote event on both the client side and the server side that's what we want like I said that's our doorway so let's get a variable for our label lbl script dot parent and then let's do local function display message we don't need the player because we are on the client side now so we already got the player we already know who the player is do lbl text and we're going to get our data it's that string that came in and you might be thinking how do we how do we 
fire that display message function, well, we get our message re dot on client event connect to display message and get rid of these two extra parentheses they always put in there. All right. Let's see what we got. Let's see our cat fact of the day. Let's hit play. There we go. Milk can give some cats diarrhea. Perfect message for the video. All right. And uh, let's try it again. Let's get another one. That was a terrible one to end on. Yay. After humans, mountain lions have the largest range of any mammal, blah, blah, blah. All right. So you get it. Um, cat fact of the day. HTTP requests, APIs, application programming interface, all really cool stuff that you use from Roblox. And maybe one of you guys can put like a little crypto, cryptocurrency board in one of your games and use this. And uh, that, I would think that would be pretty cool. Or a cat pack thing, you can do that.